Shingles and chickenpox are created by the same virus, the varicella zoster virus. This is its anatomy. It's thousands of years old and highly infectious and enters through the respiratory tract. Shingles is not a deadly disease but can result in death if infected by an autoimmune person like the elderly. 96 shingles related deaths occur in the US every year, so it's pretty tame. Although it isn't deadly, if nerve cells are seriously damaged, people can experience the pain long after the blisters have healed. It can also result in infection in the skin, brain or eye if located in that area. Some even lose their vision. That's called orthomimatic shingles, but those are a very small number of cases. If you have made contact with the person with chickenpox, but you've already had it before, then you'll get shingles instead. Had this been another virus, you would have been immune, but the varicella zoster virus is different. When you defeat chickenpox, your body doesn't get rid of it. It lays dormant, flesh inactive in the ganglia, a cluster of nerves in your spine and head, waiting for its time to shine. It doesn't even have to pass through the first line of defense as it already has years ago. If you have made contact with the person with chickenpox and you've already had it, you will become infected with shingles, not chickenpox. If someone who has not had chickenpox makes contact with the person with shingles, they will contract chickenpox, not shingles. You have to have had chickenpox to get shingles. You're more likely to get shingles if your body has a weakened immune system, like from stress and not taking care of your body. This is why old people are more likely to get shingles. Their immune system is weak and they're more likely to have had chickenpox. The virus then decides to attack and reactivate, creating a red and painful rash on your body. At this point, your body sends phagocytes, white blood cells that eat pathogen, to engulf the virus and kill it. The virus escapes the phagocytes by attaching and adapting to nerve cells, becoming indetectable. It will now be up to your third line of defense to defeat the virus. Meanwhile, the virus has been taking your nerve cells and hijacking it by replacing the RNA cell inside your body cell with its own. Normally the imposter cell would duplicate, but the very cell exhausted virus doesn't. This is not understood by scientists. It instead orders the cell to produce viral proteins and kill skin cells. White blood cells called B cells will now create antibodies that attach to the virus's unique markers to kill them. T cells help supplement energy for it. Then they duplicate and kill all of the pathogen cells. After the battle has been finished, some of the antibodies remain in your system, in case of the next attack.